Agora TV. The world is thinking. I, I, yesterday I, at 8.55 I went to a, um, an all-day in-house seminar in a Victorian government department on plain English. They invited me to open their in-house seminar and about 70 people were there. But before I went in, I was sitting in reception and a brochure uh, was lying on the table. And uh, hold up brochure, as you would say. <laughs> and I was sitting there and I was reading it and it had a picture of the um, director of the department and uh, his signature under this. For the past three months, we've been focusing heavily on strategic planning. I am excited by our new vision, and I want you to be excited too, uh, to be a catalyst for continuous improvement in the accountability and performance of the public sector, supported by our values, integrity, personal accountability, teamwork, learning, and being outcome focused. <laughs> I look forward to working together over the next five years towards achieving our vision through the implementation of our key priorities. Now, <laughs> repeat that back to me if you would. Um, <laughs> And he winds up, these are challenging and exciting times ahead, and I thank you for your support and welcome your ideas and input. Now, in that, he sort of encapsulates modern management language as it has sort of spread out into everything, into everything. For instance, the Archbishop Pell, or Cardinal Pell, I think he is. I'm a Protestant. Um, he... Um, <laughs> I was raised that way. And um, he ended his... Um, his pastoral letter the year before last, may the Lord be with you going forward. And, uh, <laughs> when, when, it's, when it's reached that point, uh, or if uh, the, the Anglicans aren't exempt, they, um, if, if you, I noticed last time I was at um, St. Martin in the Fields in Trafalgar Square, they, they've got their mission statement now on the wall, and it refers to their excellence in hospitality. <laughs> Surviving the Black Death, the Great Fire of London, and all this, they never had excellence, they just gave out soup and bread, but now <laughs> they provide excellence and hospitality. It goes everywhere. Anyway, no sooner had I read this and stuck it in my pocket than the man whose image is here appeared before me and he escorted me into the seminar. And I wanted to say, we'll call him Jeff. Jeff, how could you? No, how could you hold an all-day seminar on plain English and offer this piffle? Um, this is is to language what dead sheep round a dried up boar is to pastoralism. It is to... <laughs> it's what ghostly ring bark gum trees are to nature. Um, it's what PowerPoint is to Abraham Lincoln. It's, um, 